Hey folks, Yolanda here and welcome back to the other side of the dash. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about having my braces removed. Uh, it has been two weeks since my braces have been gone, as you guys can see there. I am so glad to have those braces off, you guys. You have no idea. Uh, there was an option to leave the braces on. In my last video, I expressed my disappointment and frustration with the braces. And uh, when I went back for this appointment, this past appointment to have them removed, I was told I could leave them in longer to have the gap closed further as you guys can see there but I had a feeling that the gap was not going to close any further as long as this part right here was there and you guys excuse my raggedy fingernails today's the day I do my nails so um you guys can see the little pink piece of meat and I forget what it's called when I look it up I'll put it in the description box below but without uh them actually taking that out uh, it wasn't going to, to my in my opinion it was not going to close any further and you guys i just wanted those braces out of my mouth they were ruining my life well they weren't ruining my life but they were just making things just so difficult and it had been 19 almost 20 months it was time for them to go so um i have mixed feelings on having my braces removed and i'll go through those with you so first um i had planned on being at the uh dental slash orthodontist office uh for a full day as i explained in the last video a i decided to follow my orthodontist and her assistant out to another office where they are from the greensboro office which is near my home um, and that new office they went to is approximately an hour away um because uh i had been with them for so long and plus i i like them basically so i didn't care for the new people that were replacing them in this office so i didn't want to go with them so at any rate uh instead of having to go out there get one procedure done come back home go back out we decided we would do all the procedures in one day so got it there at eight o'clock everything uh went smooth for the most part the first thing they did was um made the retain i have permanent retainers by the way in the back of the front of my top of my mouth and in the um in the um bottom and i'll show you guys i'll put a picture here hopefully i don't gross you guys out there but uh yeah and then i'll also post uh before and after pictures of uh what my my mouth looked like be, with the gap and after the gap was closed and there is a big big difference um, however, I'm not completely satisfied and I'll, I'll get into that as well. So I arrived, uh, they made the retainers, they took the braces off. After they took the braces off and made the mold, molding for the permanent retainers, I went over to, that was my orthodontist, and they happened to be in the same office as my, as the dentist that did the uh, bonding. So I went over to the dentist who did the bonding. She tried to match it to my teeth, almost as perfect. Now here comes the first problem um, that I had is she did a great job in matching. However, the lighting in the office, and this is just my opinion, these are all just my opinions of what happened uh, and what I, my, what I think happened, didn't happen or whatever, this is just my view. Um, the lighting was poor. Uh, so the, the matching was fine. I'm not going to fault for the matching because I was in, I, I participated in the process of picking out the matching and she did a really darn good job. However, when she did the bonding and finished, um, it looked like it blended in very well. I could not see anything. I could not see where the bonding was. It was not until a few days later when I was requesting the before and after picture so i could do this video that i saw a line that i thought was a crack or a fracture in my tooth and she had warned me over time that it's possible that it will it will fracture and if you guys uh, remember a few videos back i did say that i've had bonding before a long time ago and it did crack one day i bit into food and it just came off uh, and i was hoping before this uh whole braces procedure that's what i could do but they wouldn't do it when I found out they really could have and that was another issue that I had but anyway um so I'm thinking there was a fracture in my tooth 
and so I called to make an appointment because I'm like it's only been a few days and uh you guys are gonna fix this well I later found out that the bonding is just a normal procedure that can be it's, it's considered a filling that is covered by the insurance yeah, I was upset when I found that out because that was really all I really wanted in the first place instead of spending uh, $2,000 out of pocket and then $3,000 more to insurance on braces. I could have just got a bonding. So um, the orthodontist called me on the phone. She looked at it and she said uh, she saw it. It's not a fracture. It's just shading. Um, and it's in my opinion the lighting was bad which is why neither one of us noticed it because I did look in the mirror after she did it but again the, I think the lighting was poor which is why I didn't see it and I don't know if you guys can see it my husband said it looks like a glare when I'm in the t in the in the mirror flossing my teeth I notice it real real good so I don't know if you guys can see it but it's noticeable to me so I accept the fact that it is uh, not cracking, so I canceled the appointment. So anyway, so she did the bonding. She matched it up good, closed it up, as you guys can see. And it's not going to be perfect because of the, the pink thing here. Now, one of the problems I have with getting the braces in the first place, if you guys remember me saying, the only problem I had with my teeth was the gap. I had no problem with any other parts of my teeth. However, each day as I look at my teeth, I notice the braces on the bottom moved my teeth. So the bottom of my teeth, especially here and here, look a little bit larger to me. There is spacing between the teeth. They've moved, they look crooked. I don't like that. Um, I think they were perfect the way they are. So I'm not too happy with that. Um, so that's another disappointment. Um, also, on top of the permanent retainers, I was given these retainers that um, I am told I have to wear forever. I have to wear them every day at all times unless I am eating or drinking dark liquids like coffee or soda, which I don't drink, but coffees or teas or things like that, um, or if I'm eating. Now, the problem I have with these things right here is, now, I often wondered, my, my mother-in-law, she wears, I guess you call them dentures, partials, or whatever you want to call them, and she's always complained that she cannot eat with them in her mouth, and she's 94, 93, 94, and I used to always think it was a, 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 a thing, you know, with our minds, just saying that, you know, she's elderly, you know, whatever. Now I see what she's talking about. I, even though they told me not to eat with them, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, so I was out with them in my mouth. I didn't have my case. I was at one of my granddaughter's uh, drama practices, and I needed something to eat. And I had brought along a snack, which is a piece of string cheese, and you guys know how soft that is. You guys, I could not eat that cheese at all. So I had to get uh, a tissue from the bathroom to put my dentures in in order to eat that cheese. So um, I won't say it's a big deal that I can't eat with them. The problem is that I have to leave them in at all times when I, other than when I'm eating or brushing my teeth or flossing. These things are so uncomfortable. They are twice as uncomfortable as my braces. Um, the list that I had with my braces, 10 times as worse with these things here. Um, so the orthodontist told me if you don't wear them like that, your teeth are going, the gap is going to spread back open. So I'm with this dilemma, do I just let it spread back open at will, you know, do I wear these part-time? Do I wear these full-time? I don't know where I'm at yet. Right now, I'm wearing them mostly full-time. Every now and then when I'm eating, I, you know, I don't eat them. But and I, but I wear them 75% of the time. Let's put it that way. Because sometimes I do forget to put them in my, my mouth. And a couple times, I've been somewhere eating and I forgot them. And so, these things cost $325. Bucks, so, uh, we can't be affording to leave these anywhere. So, um... 
you guys if i'm going to continue with my life i can't leave these things in my mouth for 24 hours i mean i can sleep in them which is uncomfortable um they give me dry mouth um dry throat um and then trying to talk you know to clients or potential clients or teachers or whoever i'm talking to throughout the day one i'm flinging spit everywhere two my tongue keeps hitting the top just a, a normal reaction it's just really uncomfortable so um, I don't know. So they did that. Um, the rest, of, the rest of the process was pretty easy. They came back. I got fitted for these, made sure they fit, um, did a little instruction, paid my bill. You know, um, as you guys know, the insurance paid for the majority of it. Thank God, um, of the procedure. Otherwise I was going to be out of that $498 I was telling you guys about. Um, but thank God they paid the majority of it. Um, what else? So that, so, so it, it was painless. I got them out. So now let's go on. Let's move, move fast forward. You guys, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm a coffee drinker. I'm an avid coffee drinker. I love coffee. And back in the day, um, I could drink pots and pots of coffee a day. Uh, I have coworkers that used to work with me. They can tell you, I would have that coffee pot going from morning to time to go home drinking coffee. Now I don't drink it as much. I may drink, I, I drink a cup a day. I may, may, but seldom drink two. I do drink tea and may drink a cup of tea a day. So I guess that's not avid like I used to be, but still I'm gonna have my daily coffee. And over time, my teeth have gotten yellow. And being in the braces for almost 20 months, I didn't realize how yellow my teeth had gotten. Look. I don't know if you guys can see that but especially along the bottom my bottom teeth especially along the gum line are so yellow it's embarrassing now the reason why I got the braces to close the gap is because I didn't smile because I had the gap now I don't smile because my teeth are yellow so in talking to the um, dentist that did my um, bonding she said okay here's the problem because I told her that I wanted to get my teeth bleached. She said, if you do that, the bonding does not bleach. So if you get a subtle, a real, su uh, not subtle, if you get a real noticeable bleaching, it's gonna, that part is gonna be real noticeable. But I'm gonna tell you, I'm willing to take my chance with that. Even if I, if I only get my bottom teeth bleached, because they are so yellow. Or if I just put it along the gum lines or something, my teeth have never been this yellow. Anyone who knows me will tell you I've always been told or been complimented on how white my teeth were and how white my eyes were. And this right here, this cannot happen. Every time I look at it, I just get, I just close my mouth because I'm disappointed. So I've been using a couple things um, that have not been working. And some people swear by it, it's not working for me. Uh, the Colgate Optic White, I've been using these twice a day. Uh, I've been using the Optic White actually for when, even when I had my braces. Um, and obviously it's not working for me. And then also I've been using uh, the Crest 3D uh, White Brilliance. And it's not working. So my next step is going to be before I go to my dentist and ask for the bleaching trays is try the Crest Strips. Now I tried crest strips before uh way back in the day and they did work for me back then but then my teeth weren't as yellow so i don't know so i'm gonna give them a one box try and if i don't know a, a notice a small difference because if i see small differences i'll keep trying the product but if i don't even notice a small difference i am not going to um, continue that i'm just going to go straight to my dentist and say I need a white tray or go to a teeth whitening place and have them do it um, because I got to get these years of coffee stains and drinking coffee, not drinking coffee is not an option. Not in this household. <laughs> uh, we are coffee drinkers. One thing we have to have, if we don't have food, we have to have our coffee. So um, not drinking coffee is not an option. Uh, so um, overall, 
I wish my braces experience could have been much better. I'm not happy totally with my overall, ex you know, the, uh, the results. I don't like how my bottom teeth turned out when they should have never been touched in the first place. Um, I'm really unhappy with that. Um, I am happy though that my gap is closed, but if you look closely, it looks like my teeth are going this way instead of straight closing. They're going this way, like something is pulling them from the bottom to close. And again, that's because of that thing there. And I understand that. I'm not even upset with that. I'm This part right here, I'm happy with because it's closed. I'm not too happy about that bonding showing, but I'll deal with that. I'm not happy with my bottom teeth. I'm not happy at all. Um, another thing that is uncomfortable with the permanent retainer. My, my tongue is constantly hitting it. It's uncomfortable. It feels like dry grit in the back of my teeth. And I'm the kind of person when I brush my teeth, I'm going to brush my teeth until I don't feel that grit on my teeth anymore because it just feels disgusting. This you can't get rid of and that's what it feels like. So. Um, going back to the last video, I said if I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't. I still wouldn't. And I probably would have pressed more of the bonding. Um, because that's really all I really wanted was the bonding. And that's really all that should have happened was the bonding. Um, so now I know for sure that it's, it's included in the insurance and it's considered a filling. If my teeth do spread again, I'll go back and get the bonding. I'll just go elsewhere. Um, uh, so... Just quickly here, I, I want to show you guys another product that I am trying. So far, it is working, but um, I can't seem to keep this in my mouth for a whole minute. But anyway, so I'll talk about this in another video as far as keto. So you guys know, or maybe not, may or may not know that I'm on keto. And we'll talk about keto in another uh, video. But keto gives you keto breath. And it smells awful. It smells like bleep. So what I was using before was Sepacol. I didn't use regular mouthwash. I was using Sepacol. And the reason why I was using Sepacol is because if you have braces, they scrape the sides of your gums and it starts to hurt. Well, the Sepacol helps ease the, the, the pain and the soreness. And so that's why Sepacol was my go-to mouthwash. Well, that wasn't getting it with the keto breath. So someone recommended this... Uh, Professional Formula TheraBreath uh, Oral Rinse. So I've been trying this and it's working a little bit. Uh, the, the problem I'm having is it says rinse mouth for one minute with one capful. Gargle with another capful for 30 seconds to clean your, clear your throat of major bad breath. So what I'm having a problem with, I can gargle for 30 seconds. But trying to keep this in my mouth and gargle and... For a whole minute, I just want to gag, and it, it's it's not the very taste. It's not very tasty. It's not minty. I mean, suppose it's, there's a mint a mint taste to it, but it it tastes like vomit to me. <laughs> so trying to keep vomiting my mouth and squishing it around for for 60 seconds is kind of hard. But anyway, it is working. Um, it's uh, approved for diabetics, um, gluten free. Not that that's a problem for me that I know of, but um supposed to help reduce bad breath so again we'll talk about this in another video but um yeah so th th try this if, if you have keto breath but going back to my braces real quick uh the uh retainers to clean them they gave me this case to keep them in so i have to make sure i carry this everywhere i go because putting them if i go to a restaurant and putting them on a, a napkin and forgetting them, that's not an option because uh, we won't be getting any more uh, retainers. So um, to keep them clean, I keep them in this case. I brush mine with my electric toothpaste, uh, toothbrush uh, because they get dirty. So if you, I'm diabetic, so I get this film over my mouth every night when I go to sleep. So when I wake up, I have this film on my teeth and it gets in your retainers. So you have to scrub out, if you can't just take them out your mouth, rinse them and just throw them in a the case. No, they have a film on them, so I have to brush and with the I use a toothpaste and my electric toothbrush and then once a week um, They gave me some tabs, but they said also get some polydent like they do for dentures and uh, Soak them in there once a week. So I've been doing that and that's how I keep these clean. So besides that that is the um, 
that's uh how i care for my braces that's my opinion overall of my braces being removed and um yeah if i had to do it again i would not do it um so there you go this is probably the last actually there's one more brace update coming because braces update coming because i have a follow-up appointment in april so i'll do one more follow-up video after that appointment to give you my my final thoughts and how that appointment went but i hope this video has been helpful to some and uh i look forward to talking to you and seeing you guys in the next video i'm yolanda and you've been watching the other side of the dash talk to you next time folks